starting with with uh, individual sections, meaning like uh, let's do fingers one to two here. I'm going to do seven hammer to eight pull up to seven. And when we're talking about hammer ons and pull offs, I'm talking about hitting one note with the pick, hammering on my finger, and then pulling off my finger. Now the hammer ons, what you want to do that's important to note, and this is if you don't know what they are, is you want to to strike the note very hard and very fast. But it doesn't have to be quick in execution. So it sounds contradictory, but here's what I'm really saying. I, I can hold this note for a while. When I decide to do the hammer on, I want my finger to go very fast and very hard to get the note and the string to continue vibrating. So I can hold for a while, and then when I throw it down, it was hard, fast, deliberate. Now, I, that's not to be confused with right when you hit a note, you got to hammer on immediately. That's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about when you hammer on, see, it's very deliberate, okay? So one of the ways I practice it is I would just do seven, eight, seven and go back and forth. So for the pull off, right, the opposite of the hammer on is the pull off. Again, we don't use the pick. You want to slightly pull your finger slightly down. So it kind of, you know, it's almost like kind of flicking the string as you, you pull it off, but leave your first finger anchored. So you can see that the hammer on reintroduces the vibration and the pull off does the same. You also want to keep the back of your finger somewhat curved over to keep the strings below it quiet. Okay. So I might do something like this for a while. And then go to my third finger on the next fret. So again, keeping true to our one finger per fret or our position playing part of what we're talking about. You could also, if you're having trouble with some extraneous noise, you can take your fingers on your right hand, put them on the surrounding strings of the string you're not playing, in this case four and two. You can see over here, I'm holding those quiet. So I've got a lot of distortion on here. And also, this could also be done with a clean setting. Right. And then I would obviously go to my pinky. And so when I first started practicing these, I would do just like maybe four notes on each. And then I'd maybe switch it up to two. And then maybe one each. And then you can also go from your second finger to your third, or your second to your fourth, or your third to your fourth. And that was always harder for most people because it's a pinky and it's a little bit weaker finger. So as far as hammer-ons and pull-offs go, you might practice it like that and come up with whatever creative ways you want to do it. Keeping in mind, we talked about constants and variables, meaning if we learn a fundamental, we want to apply it to the entire fingerboard, right? So I could take that same, that same trills, move it way up to the high strings up here. And come down to the sixth fret of the sixth fret, or sorry, second fret, sixth fret. And you want to be able to do it everywhere in between. That's going to be an important thing. 